Salamone agrees to take me fishing, but it's like no fishing I've done before. Straight away, we do something I wasn't expecting. Salamone leads me to a narrow creek, one that no one has been through for some time. We then take to the land and creep through the jungle. Looks like we're following the course of a sort of a dried up sub-creek. So the chances are there's going to be a bit of a junction here. And that does look like the kind of place where you might find fish. He fishes with a bow and arrow the way his ancestors have for centuries. Just stringing the bow. Just getting the tension in the bow. is mimicking the sound of a water bird. So there's a little bit of disturbance on the surface, a little bit of whistling. The idea is this calls the wolf fish in. I don't know if it's coincidence or what, but just seen movement on the surface, which looked very much like a wolf fish. Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Oh, it's on. He missed it, but it has given me the last piece of this puzzle. One thing very, very striking, that fish, when it came in, that was in very shallow water. Not just that, very, very tangly water. So this isn't a monster of the deep, this is a monster sometimes of the shallows. The fishing with a line is going to be very close quarters, and also these snags are going to present a real problem, not just in terms of getting a bait to a place where the fish can, can take it, but also if I get a heavy fish on, extracting it from all this stuff, you know, it's going to be very challenging. And uh, who knows, that might even be at night, so this is going to be uh, quite some fishing. I decide to have a go myself, using the gear I'm accustomed to. I'm now using my larger fixed spool reel and a big chunk of bait with a wire trace to stop any sharp teeth from biting through. I'm also trying to make some disturbance on the surface, like Salamone did, to see if it will attract any hungry wolf fish. No takes on the bait, no reaction to the popper. Looks a good spot, but doesn't seem to be anything at home. We've reached the end of the navigable stretch of this creek now. It's just this impenetrable tangle of branches now. So if we were to hack our way through that, we'd just disturb everything. You could hardly get a bait into the water. Anyway, very, very interesting fishing.